Hi, I'm Peter Kamstrom of Kamstrom.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll show you how to customize a master page in SharePoint 2013. We're going to customize the master page so that each page in the site displays a custom footer, which I have the HTML for down here. Uh, the steps are to open SharePoint 2013 uh, in SharePoint Designer 2013 and then find the HTML page that corresponds to my master page, which in my, in my case is the Seattle HTML. I'm going to edit, edit that in advanced mode and find the end of the workspace div, which is the last one before the end of the body tag. And then I'm going to insert all this. One of the interesting things about this is that it has a class here, but you'll see the S4 not dialog class. That means that it doesn't show up inside dialogs in the site, just on pages. So let's jump in and do this. I have already opened the site in SharePoint Designer here. And as you see, it doesn't now have a footer. It's just ordinary site. But I'm going to go into the master page gallery here. And in Office 365, it copies in all the different languages, but we just need to go directly to this one, the Seattle HTML page. As you see, there's there's a dot master page and a dot HTML page that correspond to each other. The master page actually picks up the information automatically from the HTML page. So the one we need to edit is the Seattle HTML one. I'm opening that, editing the file, and then I need to find the end of the page here. You see the end of the body tag and there's the end of the workspace. So this is where I need to put my footer. I already have that written down here so I'm just going to copy that and then paste this right there. And then save. And then I'll just refresh the page here. And as you see, I now have a footer on each page. So if I go into another one here, documents, for example, you'll see that it's still there. It's a bit out of sight, but down, down there it is. Thank you for watching this demonstration.